When you've been in a relationship with someone you love deeply, it can really feel like the end of the world when you get into a breakup. It's really hard to let go of all the memories and all the good times you shared together with your ex, but what if you want them back? And what if you've been noticing some subtle signs that they might not be over you as well? Well, in this video, what I'll do is I will list 16 of these sort of signs that basically indicate your ex is pretending to be over you and that you actually still have a chance. By recognizing them, you'll have it way easier to recognize the best method and the best approach to get back with your ex and rekindle your relationship. So let's get right into it. And if you want to get into getting an ex back in general, download my reattraction cheat sheet, link in the description down below this video. But without any further ado, let's get into the main stuff. Sign number one, your ex keeps transitional objects. So these are objects like, for example, your sweater, uh, your hoodie, your shirt, a uh, certain trinket that you've got them, maybe like a plush toy that means a lot to them. Basically, whatever object it has some sort of a sentimental value that is tied to you. That's what we call a transitional object. It's basically something that reminds them of you and makes them feel as though you are still physically there for them, even though you're not. Now, the second sign is when your ex places themselves into your orbit. So, for example, if you keep seeing them pop up basically everywhere you go, or at least in a lot of places you go, there's a good chance that they are actually putting themselves in your orbit on purpose. And who knows, maybe your ex is even spying on you. Be very observant of these kinds of situations because they very well may unfold eventually. And it's a really good sign that your ex is pretending to be over you. Same thing with sign number three, which is when your ex basically turns all of their friends into spies. So maybe out of the blue, one of your ex's friends at some point contacts you and asks you about your life in general, like what you're doing, if you're maybe dating anyone, like how your career is working out, how's the family doing, stuff like that. Now, this can very well just be their way of gathering information for your ex. On a similar note, the fourth sign your ex is pretending you is when they call your friends and family and ask about you. Similarly to what I said before, your ex might ask what you're doing, whether you're dating or not, uh, how your career is unfolding, how's your family. However, sometimes they might be even a little bit more direct. And they will literally tell people in your life without telling you directly that they like you still, that they maybe miss you, that they want to rekindle things. Obviously, all of this is pretty self-explanatory and all a big sign. Your ex is clearly pretending to be over you. The fifth sign is when your ex keeps checking your social media. So things like posts, comments, maybe they comment on it. Maybe like they like a bunch of your posts and maybe they open up your Instagram, Facebook or whatever you use stories, which is also a really good indicator to see whether your ex is still interested because when it comes to people viewing stories, that behavior is usually visible, so you can check who saw your story and who didn't. The sixth sign your ex is pretending to be over you is when they actively try to make you jealous. Maybe they start posting very provocative or exciting things on social media. Maybe they start posting things like pictures with really hot people of the opposite sex. I'm talking about posting things like them going to a bunch of different concerts and parties, things of that nature. Those are all good, good signs that your ex is still interested in you. Sign number seven is when your ex still doesn't disconnect you from shared online services. Maybe you have like a Netflix account together. Maybe you have like a shared YouTube account together. Maybe you have like a Spotify account a Apple Music account, things of that nature. If your ex has not disconnected you from those accounts, it may mean that they still like you. Sign number eight is when your ex simply indirectly contacts you. They basically dip their toe in the water. So these are contacts, for example, like when you're, you get a message from your ex saying something like, hey, this movie or this restaurant just reminded me of you. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? 
Those are going to be very clear indicators your ex is pretending to be over you. Sign number nine kind of piggybacks on this last one. If your ex reaches out at some point and wants to talk about the breakup, that's also a really good sign. Specifically, if they want to talk about what led to the breakup, how could you avoid a breakup, how could you avoid maybe another breakup if you hypothetically get back together. Same story, if your ex starts bringing up shared memories, specifically pleasing memories, or shared uh, really pleasing experiences. These are also all great signs your ex still has feelings for you. Sign number 10, your ex is very obviously angry about you. They're angry about the breakup. They are angry about you not being with them, maybe they want to get revenge on you. This is all a clear indication they still feel something for you because as the classic adage goes, the opposite of love is not hate, it is indifference. So until your ex is for some reason, granted you haven't provoked them, pissed off at you, it's a good sign. Another good sign is when your ex plays hot and cold, when your ex basically, maybe one day they can stop talking with you and they're very affectionate and receptive, while maybe next the next day or next week they are suddenly cold and aloof and like you feel like they want nothing to do with you. It's the equivalent of mixed signals and if your ex is giving you those signals, it is a sign that they might still feel something for you. The 12th sign is a very subtle one. It's when your ex keeps looking at you or maybe even stares at you. I won't go deep into this. There's a lot of just scientific theory behind the whole phenomenon. So I swear it does hold water. Your ex, if they still like you, will look at you in a very different way, way more curious and interested way than if they really wanted nothing to do with you. Sign number 13 your ex is pretending to be over you is when they are trying to force friendship. Now, a rule of thumb, you don't want to be friends with your ex after a breakup, especially if you want to at some point get back together with them. This rarely if ever works out. What I suggest you do instead is whenever your ex brings up the topic of friendship, I suggest you say no and simply be honest about what you really want. Hey, I want to casually date you. Hey, I want to have a romantic relationship with you. Hey, I want to see you in a more sexual and intimate way. And this is going to really polarize them, which will lead you if they are still interested, to rekindle your relationship way faster than if you would take the whole friendship route. Sign number 14 is really obvious. Your ex keeps drunk calling or drunk texting you. Now, if this happens like once or twice, I wouldn't make a big deal out of it. But if it keeps happening like day in and day out, maybe week in, week out, a couple times a week, a couple times a month, it is a good sign your ex still likes you. Sign 15 is when your ex's new partner actually hates you. Maybe they talk bad about you. Maybe they just like give you a really angry look whenever you come across them. Maybe they are jealous or insecure. Maybe that's the case, right? But it can boil down to simply them being angry with you, meaning that your ex, that they probably know that your ex still has feelings for you. Take all this with a grain of salt. This is one of the more vaguer signs, if that's even a word, in this video. But it is something that is worthy of keeping an eye out for. And sign number 16, the ex is pretending to be over you. Your ex is overprotective. They want to know where you're going whenever you're going out. They want to know where you are. They want to know with who you're hanging out with. They maybe spy or kind of stalk you around. They want to meet any new friends that you've met, for example, in the time while you were dating after your breakup. If all of that or any of that is the case, it could be very well a sign that your ex just is not over you yet. Now to close things off, if your ex is in fact pretending to be over you, I'm gonna be honest, it's a really immature response and I do not recommend you get back with someone who has such a response, who gives such a response. Granted, they do not work on themselves whatsoever and you can tell that they probably won't change anytime soon. If that is the case, I really urge you, move on. But if that's not the case, if you feel that there is potential here for a real healthy relationship to blossom, I urge you download my reattraction cheat sheet, link in the description below. It's a one-page PDF that basically leads you throughout the entire process 
of getting an X back that I teach. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something new and take care.